All right, so today we got more sim gameplay for you guys. Today I'm gonna to be playing some Kinemon games. So let's just get right into it. Okay, this time it's Smoker. So this, this matchup's pretty interesting. Oh, he's gonna go second. Mm, I'm gonna keep actually. I'm trying to think. I think I'll just end turn without, I mean, summons on two. He can, I'm just gonna end turn because he could potentially Meteor Volcano like my Momonosuke, which I don't want. This matchup is all about card advantage, which is why I don't really want to um, like play anything out right now. I'm gonna swing him 5k instead of 6k, just so, um, okay, well, it didn't matter in the end, just so he was more inclined to counter. Uh, and then I'm just going to use my leader effects, play the Rhizo. Yeah, I swung 5k there because I just wanted a card out of his hand. Uh, if it was 6k, he might have just taken it. I want to be up in card advantage in this in this uh, matchup. And then I want to place down Odin uh, and deal with any of his like Kuzans that he plays. So I want, that's why I kept like this hand with like Rhizo and Killer in it. Because those are the card, like those are going to help me draw my cards. Okay, so this is um, pretty good for me. I could use leader effects and get this Kuzan off the board. I'm gonna swing 7k into it. If he gives me two cards for this, that's also, I think, fine. Uh, but he's not going to. And I'm just developing my board right now. Um, I, I'm not really doing a good job of starving of, of cards, but he's cycling and he's not really playing a lot. Uh, he could potentially just KO my Yamato here. Or he's gonna Great Eruption it. Maybe Meteor Volcano now? So he's cycling a lot right now. Yeah, so he's gonna Meteor Volcano. Swing 6k at me. Uh, I could take here but it's gonna be a lot harder to counter later on. So I'll just, oh, I have Odin on curve. He has no way to KO it right now, unless he has like Ice Age and like Kobe or something. I'm gonna play it. So let's play Odin on curve. I'm not going to attack because uh, he hit left two up, which probably means he has a shockwave, and I don't want to lose my Rhizo, since I want to keep drawing cards from it. So I'm actually, yeah, I'm not gonna, not gonna attack there. So let's see where this goes. Oh, he could potentially be running like Ice Age, and then just completely ruin my Kozuki Odin. Uh, in that case, like, I'll just bring out like an Okiku or something. He's gonna play the Smoker, which isn't too bad for me. Uh, swing 6k again. I'll take this time. Okay, so what do I want to search out? Re like, I want Yamato's right right now, so I could swing into his smoker. Um, so I'm going to try to search a Yamato. I don't end up getting one, which is kind of unfortunate, but that's okay. Uh, and then I'm going to swing 5k into him. Swing in this order so he can't shockwave uh, my Rhizo away. And I think I'm going to swing five again. And then I might end off the turn with just killer blocker uh, attach one. And then restanding my Kazuki Odin. So he's taking life fast. Uh, I'm just trying to make his Kuzan more uncomfortable. And he's going to get rid of the shockwave there and then I am going to develop a blocker to potentially draw a card. The killers are really annoying for him if he doesn't have any sort of removal for it because uh, getting to protect something on my board and drawing one card is actually huge. And then if he does end up summoning like nine cost Kuzan I'm probably just going to go double swing 9k with this Odin. Yeah, he's going to KO, of course, the killer, but he can't double attack me with the smoker this turn, which is good. 
Um, I don't think he's gonna, he might not even swing into my life, to be honest. my Rizo. I mean, I don't really have the counter for that, so I'm just going to let that go through. So I am going to swing. I'm going to start out by swinging 9k at his smoker, see if he wants to give me cards. It's gonna get really hard from here on out because he does have a lot of cards in hand. And uh, it's gonna be really hard for me to stick things on the board now. But if he gives me, okay, so he doesn't give me two cards. Um, Let's swing, let's poke and swing 5k here. Give me a 2k. Um, so then I'm just gonna swing 9k into him. He's probably just gonna take, yep. And then I'm gonna go ahead and search. Don't really, we got killer. I think what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to killer and then I'm gonna beige and then see what he does. He probably has some sort of removal for this Odin, and I hate how many cards he has in hand. This is gonna be really tough, because he he played it really smart, and he didn't like, um, he didn't commit a lot of cards like to popping my other stuff. Because usually this matchup is, is pretty difficult for a smoker to win because uh, you have to discard a bunch of cards, you know, to pop things. But let's see what he does here. Because now, with these two blockers up, he can't just swing into this Odin. He's probably thinking about using some destruction effect on it. Uh, swing 5k at my Bonnie. Uh, I'm wondering if I should just take the draw here. Um, because he might just KO something so that I don't get killer. But honestly, if he's KOing something in that case, like that's completely fine with me. Yeah, he's gonna Sakazuki here. I, I, it's probably Sakazuki to the Odin. Uh, and then I'm just gonna grab, I want to grab, okay, so we'll see. Uh, I'm gonna grab the Okiku just in case. I, I would have loved to grab the Raizo to be honest, to draw more cards, but just in case he has like a Borsalino here, I'm gonna grab the Okiku. Because I really need to start just like hammering his face. And then if he tries to swing, he doesn't even swing with his Kuzan. Um, that kind of, that's kind of a little sus. I wish, now I wish that um, I grabbed the Rizo. But he's gonna probably try to pop my killer this turn. Hmm. I don't like that he has two up for Shockwave though. Uh, but if I play it a little slower, it might be... Let's start out with just bonnie and seeing what we get. We'll grab a Beige. Let's swing 5k into his leader. He's probably not going to shockwave this yet. Um, because, well, we'll see. Okay, yeah, he shockwaves the Okiku, which is completely fine with me. Because I I just want to draw cards right now. I don't necessarily need that o Ah, and actually, I should have swung with the Okiku first. But um, I didn't want to lose one of my blockers. That was like the main thing. Um, let's try to get, let's try to get something off of this Bonnie. Okay, so we finally grabbed like something like a seven cost here. And 
I'm just gonna double up on these killers, and then I'm just gonna draw as many cards as possible. Ah, oh, yeah, that was that. I that was a misplay on the Bonnie part, but he might have KO'd my killer, which I don't know which one is really worse. So he has at least two in hand, I think. It gets really difficult in this stage of the game. So he's gonna swing five at my leader. I'm just gonna counter out with a Toki. I don't see myself grabbing an Odin. I bottom decked a lot of Yamatos and I think two Odins already. So we'll see what he does from here. 7k at my leader, I'll just draw a card. He's gonna go for the Kuzan. Okay, at leader, I'll just draw another card. And he's gonna be able to play down a Borsalino. Okay, so let's let's start getting more even more cards. Yeah, let's grab this. And let's just keep grabbing cards here. I'm gonna swing 6k into him so he can't just free block with the Borsalino. And then he's just gonna waste a shockwave there. And then I'm going to use this to pick this up. Um, play out in Okiku. And then play this plus a Bonnie. And then we'll see what he does. So he's running out of cards in hand now, uh, which is what we want. And if he starts popping things, um, it's gonna take even more cards out of his hand. He's gonna meteor, he's gonna meteor volcano my law, which is not good in all honesty. Didn't like to see that, but it's okay. Um, we'll see where this, where this, the rest of this turn goes. He's gonna be able to swing seven k at me here. Okay, so he's gonna swing 7k into the Bonnie. Um, I think I will just let that go through. I already have, I, I have one on the board and one in hand, so it's not too bad for me. He could have just like another Sakazuki. And he's gonna swing 7k into my leader. Uh, so I'll take that just to see what I get. Okay, I grab an Odin. Could be interesting. See what other plates he has. His Kuzan effect doesn't really do anything <laughs> since everything is already at zero. And then if it does, I mean, I feel like if he had something for my blocker, he would have used it already. But this is what I mean. Like, this is how, like, you know, it's looking really, really awful, but um, I have a ton of cards in hand. I can kind of deal with this. So he's going to swing 7k. I'm going to give him a 2k and a 1k there. 
And then if he swings with the Kuzan, of course, I'll just block with the Beige. And then if he leaves this Okiku up, which I don't know if he's going to do or not, he does have perfect curve to hit like a Kobe and then leave two up four a, um, to leave two up four, like, okay, so he's going to, he's going to go ahead and go with that play with the Smoker, which is pretty scary for me uh, because I could potentially get double attacked there. So let's find... Let's find the Punk Gibson here. And let's actually try to find another Punk Gibson. Okay, we're gonna whiff, because we've been just bonnying things. Mmm... A tough situation here. Hmm... I think we actually want to... Swing 7k at his leader. And then... So let's swing 7 at his leader, resting the Borsalino. Hmm... And then I guess we'll just swing five here. Swing five at his face. Probably just give me a card for this, for sure. Yeah, he's gonna give me a Kobe. Um, and then we'll just do this and see what happens. We probably don't live next turn and I don't see us winning this game if I'm being completely honest. But we'll see. Maybe some miracle happens. Because I don't see him... Like, he could definitely go for board and then go for my face, which is the problem. Uh, in this case... This is definitely where I use Gibson. And then I'm just going to rest his Kuzan. So he has one less attacker. I need to save my blocker for the smoker because I do not want him double attacking me. All right, so he's gonna great eruption, probably looking for a certain card. I don't know what he could possibly be looking for. Maybe like a meteor volcano for this, or like maybe a removal thing for this killer. But he actually, he discarded a Kobe earlier, which he might be regretting now. So he's gonna swing 10k into me. Um, is there any way I live this actually? Like, I'm just gonna take. Uh, he, I don't think he has enough swings to kill me. So he, I, I, I would go for board here now. Because I don't think he can kill me this turn. So you might as well go for board. Um, okay, so he's going to swing 10k. Okay, if he swings 10k, I definitely just take, right? Oh! Okay, well, we'll we'll rest that Gibson trigger, Gibson losing to Gibson trigger. Thoughts? <laughs> Will he lose to Gibson trigger? What if he has like another blocker in hand? That would suck. I don't think he has two shockwaves. I'm not going to lie. Should I just swing double nine? I should, right? Or like nine and then 11? Okay, if he has the shockwave, he has it. 
So let's swing nine. If he has Shockwave, then he then he just wins. <gasps> Maybe he doesn't? Maybe he doesn't? Eleven? Mm, please don't have it. Please don't have it. Oh my god, that was a crazy game. <laughs> no way. Oh my lord. Oh. That was a tough one for him. <laughs> the Gibson trigger is crazy. But, okay, let's think about this math though. Like, did, did he ever have it though? Like, even if, let's say that he didn't trigger Gibson. I always can just take that and then block, right? So even if I didn't trigger Gibson, I think he had, I, I think he didn't have it. There was even an argument to like, maybe not even Gibson trigger because then, then he kind of puts, you know, everything on the brakes. But as always, here's the deck list and thank you guys so much for watching. If any of you are participating in this Saturday's Treasure Cup, I'll, I will be too. So good luck to you and hopefully you guys will wish me some luck too. And also just good luck in anything you're doing, whether that be like your job, school, anything. And I'll see you on the next one.